From there, we go over to today's tech tip. And this is a tech tip I wanted to do for some while. It's how to use TIA Portal version 18, the trial we downloaded in our previous tech tip, how to create a simple program and simulate it with the free PLC simulator that comes with TIA Portal, which I think is really cool. I wish every uh, PLC manufacturer had a free simulator like, uh, like uh, TIA Portal includes, like CCW includes, and like other vendors have. So with that, let's uh, go ahead and switch over to my VMware and let's wake her up. And here you can see I have TIA Portal V18, the trial open. And at some point during this trial, it's going to ask me to um, activate the trial and start the 21 days. So we'll see that as well. So I have it open. You can see it's V18. I'm just going to create a brand new project. This can take a, a little bit. Um, you want to be careful if you're using VMware like I am so I can roll back and do this again. Um, you know, you really want to make sure I found that I need to have at least two cores and about eight gigs of memory. And then I also need to have it on an SSD to have it run, not be sluggish. So that's just what I found. So in any case, we'll give this a second to start up. And then the first thing I'll do here is I'll add a new device. And um, what this will do is give me the catalog to choose from. And I will choose, I'm just going to choose an S7-1200 because that's what comes in that starter kit with a lifetime copy of TIA Portal, which I'm such a big fan of. For under $600, you can get a PLC and a lifetime copy of the software which I think is great. And it comes with a little input simulator board as well. So this is a little small here, but let me just check. I'm just going to choose one of these. Um, and this, you can see right here, this is where it's saying, hey, you don't have a license, so you're going to have to activate the trial. And I tell my students, do not activate this until you can spend 21 days in a row or at least spend the time during that 21 day period to actually go through the optional hands-on exercises in my course because you only get to run this once. If you don't have VMware, you're not going to be able to roll back uh, before you actually click on this, right? So um, you're going to be very uh, cognizant of that. So let me go ahead and activate S7, uh, Step 7 Professional. And now I can choose. And the one thing I'll just point out here, you have to have version 4 or greater of the S7 1200 to be able to use it in SIM. So I, that's why I'm not choosing one of these older models because they're older firmwares. So uh, I'll just choose this one and click on OK. And so this is going to go ahead and add the uh, the CPU to my uh, system here. And then I'll go ahead and I'm just going to document one input and one output. So I'll call the first input PB1 for push button one and the first output PL1 for pilot light one. And, um, you know, one of the ways, the easiest way to do this is now this is something new. If you've only used like 16, um, I, I didn't really use 17. I'm going right to 18 here. But um, they want you to put passwords in to make your system secure, which is a good idea. Except when you're training, like I do this a lot, so I'm not going to uh, fool around with passwords. So I'm going to uncheck that. We're going to have to do this somewhere else as well. So you probably should consider putting strict passwords that uh, you have documented somewhere in your uh, live systems. Okay. But in any case, so here I go. We got it in. I took off the password. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to double click on this guy. And you can see down here, I can go right to IO tags. And here you can see, I know it's a little small, but there's a percent input 0.0. .0. That's my first input. We'll call that PB1. And for the output Q00, we'll call that pilot one just to do something quick here. And with that done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my main program. So program blocks, main program. We'll open that up. And the main program by default is going to be ladder logic. I'm going to take a normally open contact here and then a coil, which is actually called an assignment um, inside of TA portal. And then I'm just going to double click here and grab PB1. And over here, I'm going to grab PL1. Okay. And great. Now, if I have this selected and I compile, you're going to see, hey, everything's great. No problems. We're all happy, right? Well, not so fast. Let's go ahead and click on the CPU and compile. And now what do we see? Well, we're going to see an error that we don't have a password, right? So even though we chose not to have a password in that first step, there's another one we got a, a setting we got to deal with here. And that's this one right here. So I'm going to say, look, I want, um, this is just for training. I just want to go full access, no password, like the old stuff, because um, we got a tech tip to do here. So with that done, now I can compile the entire thing, right? We'll select this, we'll select that. And we have a warning that we don't have a password configured, but it's not stopping us from 
proceeding. So with that, now instead of downloading it to a physical PLC like I have done in the past on other videos, I'm going to click right here and do start simulation. And it says, hey, do you want to enable simulation in your project? Yes, I do. And it says, uh, this is an important note. It's going to disable all the other interfaces. So it's going to disable your Ethernet connection from TIA portal to your, let's say, your S7 PLCs. So uh, I ran into this when I was doing the course. And, you know, if you don't close down PLC SIM, those port, those, those uh, 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 network interfaces stay disabled. So I was trying to, after testing it with the SIM, I was trying to go online with the, with the S7, the actual physical CPU, and I couldn't. And that's because I didn't read that message. So keep that in mind. Um, it's very important. Now, one of the things about V18, right, PLC SIM, is this new look. I, it's very different from the old stuff, okay? So keep that in mind. What you're seeing here as this is starting up, this is kind of odd. We'll get back to this in a minute, but we, what we need to do is go back to TI Portal, and it says, hey, your uh, PLC SIM, PLC may not be trustworthy. Again, we're just doing training, so we're going to connect to it. We don't have to worry about it because we're in the training class here and uh, doing a tech tip. And uh, so now it lets me load it into the simulated PLC. And here I'm going to say, yeah, why don't you put it into run mode and finish? Good. So now let's go back to PLC SIM. Now, if we look here, right, we can see our code. I'm going to go ahead and monitor it. Okay, and you'll see our code running. Now, we can't right-click here and modify this to a 1 because we're not just simulating the code. We're simulating the whole CPU. It's simulating reading the inputs in from the signal module. So no matter how many times we right-click on that, we're not going to be faster than the simulated read from the input modules. Okay, so could we force it? Yes, we could if we wanted to. We could come over here, and of course, I'm not, this isn't a training class. I'm not going to go into all the details about forcing and, you know, the precautions you need to take and all of that. But if I wanted to force PB1, right, I could type it in there. And, right, I could come over here. And you know what? Let me split this pane so we can see both of them. Okay, good. Let's give a little bit more space over here. Let's close this guy up. We don't need this. Okay, so. I can force it here, right? So I'll do a force value. You know what? I'll just right click and force to a one. It says, do you really want to do this? Again, we're just testing. So I'm not going to worry about anything turning on in the field. And now you can see it came on as the force indication and the output's on. That, that is not as easy as it can be, right? Because forcing is meant to take you through multiple steps for safety reasons, right? So when we're using the simulated PLC, we don't have to do that. So let me go ahead and let me uh, get rid of this force here. Um, so I'm going to stop forcing. Yes, let's get rid of the forcing. Oh, you know what? Let me turn that back on because I want to show you over in the PLC sim that you can actually see when you come here to this PLC icon. You'll actually see our simulated PLC and you'll see the maintenance light. That means there's a force in the PLC. So let's go back to TA portal. Let's go ahead and remove this force. Stop forcing. And I'm just going to delete this force to get it out of there. And so we're not forcing anymore. So if we go back here, we see no more maintenance light. Great. So now what's an easier way of doing that, right? So let me see if I can shrink this guy up a little bit so we can see our code in the background. And it won't let me shrink it. That's not good. That's not friendly. Well, we'll have to get that feedback to seam and say, we've got to be able to shrink this. All right, so in any case, what are we going to do here? We're going to go down to this. Um, all right, so what are we going to do here? We're going to go down to this icon here, and we're going to create a new SIM table, and we're going to add a row to it. And here, again, when I click in here, there's no drop-down list. This is very strange. I don't know why, you know, maybe it's still under development, and they're going to add those features, but we know what our input was, right? It was PB1. So if I type P, oh, now I see my tags. So there's PB1. And now, let's see, let me go ahead and start this guy up here. And let me just click in here. I'll do a control A and I'll type in a one, enter. And now you can see it came on and I'll do the same thing, zero, enter, and it went off, right? So that is how you can use the free PLC SIM in version 18 with the code you write to actually test out your program. Now, it's a little bit more different than version 16. I'm trying to be nice in the words I'm using. I really grew to like how 16 did it. 18's different, so there's a little learning curve there. But that's today's tech tip on how to use the TIA portal trial we downloaded previously to test your programs that you write in it. And I want to wish you all a very safe, 
happy and healthy day. And until next time, my friends, peace.